All right, welcome back. Today we're discussing chapter two, lesson three, solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. The objectives for today are to solve one step inequalities by using multiplication, and also to solve one step inequalities by using division. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started with our first example. So the main thing is, is whenever you're solving these inequalities, you really just solve them exactly like you would when you solve um, an equation. There is only one thing you have to remember, and that's when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you flip the sign. Um, but we're not there yet, so that will be in the next example, uh, I think example two. So right now, just think of these as equations and just you would do everything the same. So if we're trying to get x by itself, right, there's a seven. This means seven x is seven multiplied by x. So we're gonna do the inverse operation of multiplication, which would be division. And we basically end up with negative 42 divided by seven which is negative six. And then we just need to graph our solutions. Remember, we have x is greater than negative six, so whenever we have that greater than sign, that means it's going to be an open circle, and x is everything bigger than negative six, and everything bigger than negative six is this way. So that is how you would graph that one. Okay, let's look at 1b. So 1b here, we're gonna solve this inequality and graph the solutions. We're trying to isolate m. Right now, this is m divided by three. We have to do the inverse operation of division to get m by itself, which is multiplication. So we're just gonna multiply both sides by three. And what we end up with is, I'm gonna take this over to the side real quick. Um, three times four is 12. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, and there's one decimal, so there's one decimal spot there. So that's 7.2. Now, whenever you're doing inequalities like this, the inequality has to be on the left side. And then when you um, switch sides, you just need to make sure that this inequality sign is still facing the same thing. So right now, um, like remember how I say this is an alligator, it's eating the M? Well, it needs to eat the M when you swap sides. Okay. So here we are, and now we just need to graph it. So I'm gonna go here, 7.2, okay, we have six and eight. We know that seven is halfway between those, and halfway between seven and eight is, uh, well, let's just do five. So yeah, it's gonna be 7.5, right? So this is seven. That's gonna be halfway is that 7.5. And so I think 7.2 is gonna be right here. Now, is this going to be, so let's just make a big thing and call this 7.2. Is it gonna be open circle or a closed circle? And the answer would be a closed circle. Right there at 7.2. And M is greater than or equal to 7.2. And all the numbers that would be greater than would be this way. All right, that is 1B. Let's go ahead and talk about 1C. All right, so we're trying to get R by itself. Right here, it's 3 fourths times R. And remember, this is multiplied, R is being multiplied by a fraction. And how we um, get that fraction to the other side is by multiplying by the reciprocal. Multiply by the reciprocal, multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is just when you exchange, exchange um, the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top. All right, now the great thing about this is when you multiply by the reciprocal, we are multiplying fractions over here and everything, there's a common factor of four, common factor of three, and then we just have one times r, which is r, and everything kind of just cancels out. So here we're gonna be multiplying fractions, so we're gonna make this 12 over one, and then we're gonna look to cross cancel. So that, but with uh, 12 and three, there's a common factor of, yes, three, three goes into three one time, three goes into four, four times, and then we just multiply across. Four times four is 16. One times one is just one. 16 over one is the same thing as 16, so there's our answer right there. The variable's on the left side, so we're good. Now we just need to graph this. So first thing, is this gonna be an open circle or a closed circle? If you said open circle, you are correct. And R is less than 16, so it's gonna be everything this way. All right, perfect. Now it is your turn to check it out. So 
I want you to go ahead and try to solve this inequality and graph the solutions. Here's my friend the pause dragon reminding you to pause your device. Uh, work the problem out when you get done, then press play and we'll go over the uh, answers together. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we're back. Let's see how you did. So we're trying to solve for k, get k by itself. So to do that, we'd have to do the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. Divide both sides by 4. That means we are left with k is greater than 6. It's going to be an open circle, and it's greater than, so it goes this way. So if you got all that right, awesome job. If not, then fix your notes. And so your um, notes look like mine. All right, now we are moving on to check it out example 1B and check it out example 1C. So I want you to go ahead and try both of those. Here's my friend the pause dragon. Remind you to pause your device. Work those two problems out. When you get done, press play and we'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right, we're back. Let's see how you did on check it out example 1B. So we're trying to solve for Q. We need to divide both sides by 5. That ends up with um, negative 10 is greater than or equal to Q. We have to make sure that Q is on the left side. And right now, this is the alligator is facing the negative 10. So it needs to do the same here. So that is our answer. So if you got that right and you have the variable on the left side with the correct sign, great job. Now we just need to graph it. This is going to be a closed circle, and Q is less than, so it's everything this way. So if you got that one right, great job. Let's move on to check it out example 1C. So we're trying to get G by itself. Um, it's multiplied by the fraction. We gotta go ahead and multiply by that reciprocal to both sides. Everything cancels. We are left with G is greater than, make 27 a fraction. A common factor between 27 and 3 is 3. 3 goes into 3 one time. It goes into 27 nine times. Then you multiply across. 9 times 4 is 36. Over 1 is the same thing as 36. Okay. Now we just need to graph it. So I got to get to 36. So between 35 and, 30, and 40. So let's go 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So this would be 36. And it's going to be an open circle, and G is everything above it. So that is how you would graph it. Um, that's it. We will see you back in a little bit for example two.